at uh, your uh, particular uh, matrices okay so in this uh, today's class i will tell uh, about the hello so i want to ask that uh, skin is visible and uh, you can uh, write your answer in chat box skin is visible and am i audible so then i can start that today's topic yes okay thank you thank you so much and the uh, second instruction is this okay, please who have maths in plus 2 keep silence only you will listen because i know you know all these things so please don't disturb the bio students who is only the um, only have the bio in plus 2 so please this class is this course is specially designed for the those students who have the bio in plus 2 and they want to come in the technical group that means in btech so some essentials be required that's why that course be designed so hopefully you will be able to understand that thing and the seriousness so please i know you know the maths then definitely this is a very basics so please uh, no need to give the answer those people who have the maths you can listen only and uh, so let's uh, skin is visible so may i start the series and sequences what is the difference between the finite and infinite so before uh, starting that series and sequences i want to give uh, i want to ask one brief to all of you uh that uh, uh, how we can uh, think that ki this uh, where the series and sequences be used when uh, normally in the today's generation is a very curiosity behavior and they they always ask that ke yes uh, and uh, they all know that ke uh, ma'am what is before starting anything in any of the subject first they want to Uh, curious about the it ke why we are studying this subject what is the purpose of this subject uh, how we will use all those things in our um, means uh, our future aspect and uh, our area and other things especially the bio student always think that we are the bio student so why we are the, there is a need of the mathematics especially when we are talking about the series and sequences series means the right anything in a proper way okay uh, suppose we want to analyze anything so what is the prospect be there we can analyze the previous year data previous year things okay and the previous data then analyze the new data with with the help of something uh, new expert so this is the point that uh, we are talk we we want to study that uh, particularly um that uh, series and sequences in your biological language if you remember you have to listen about that dna and rna sequencing okay so in a sequencing definitely the uh, series and sequence be used there okay so so that's why this uh, we have to use the series and sequence so first i will tell in this uh, class ki what is the series and uh, how you will use here in this so what is the sequences that we will start first and uh, listen uh, i want to ask one thing to all of you why you have to join the other domain you all have the vit bhopal credential so if you have to join the vit bhopal credential there is no need to uh, ask to me ki, can i come in the class or not so i think so many student ask to me admitted 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 that that is due to the you have to join with another your personal gmail if you have to join with vit bhopal gmail then i think there is no need to ask to me ke, is admitted in the class okay next time please uh, take care this thing and so um, now i am tell telling about the sequences so a function whose domain is a set of consecutive integers list of ordered numbers separated by commas that mean is this okay, we can see the we can uh, observe the pattern here okay 
each number in the list is called the term for example sequence okay in the sequence 1 and in the sequence 2 what is the difference here nothing in the sequence 1 2 4 6 8 10 term is 1 2 3 4 5 similarly in a sequence 2 2 4 6 8 10 and dash 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 that means the sequence 1 is finished up to 10 that means only five element in that particular set while in the sequence 2 it goes up to infinite or finite terms that will be decided okay so that's why you can see here in a first one this is a is a stop up to 10 but in the second one you can see that the dot 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 be there that means that will be finding up to infinity or up to n terms then I want to tell you how we can define the term, where the term belongs. So relative position of each term 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 usually begin with the position 1 unless otherwise stated. Range means the actual term of the sequences. Means the range is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. That means sequence 1 and sequence 2. So they are, now I already defined this thing, infinite and finite. A sequence can be finite. The sequence has a last term or finite term. A sequence continuous without stopping. So I already told this thing. Okay, this is the difference. Both are the sequences. Both are the sequences of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. But, but what is the difference? One is for that finite and another one for the infinite. Well, dot, dot, dot means we can go up to infinite term. Both sequences have an equation or general root an is equal to 2n. That means if you can see here, okay, if we will put n equal to 1, then it become 2n. 2. If we will put n equal to 2 here, then it is 4. If we will put n equal to 3 here, it will 6. n is the term and an is the nth term of the series. So if we can write in the form of the function, we can write here fn equal to 2n. Now, this is some example here. Write the first 6 term of an is equal to 5 minus n. That means we want to write a series, a sequence who's, uh, who have the 6 term. So what we will put here, n equal to 1. When we will put the n equal to 1 here. Uh, when we will put the n equal to 1 here, you got 4, then 2, then 3, then 2, 1, 0, and minus 1. So what is the sequence for this function? This function is 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1. In a similarly, you can see the second question. Write the first six term of this sequence. A n is equal to given 2 key power n. When we will put 2 key power 1, that is 2. When we will put a key, 2 key power 2 is 4. 3, 8, 4, 16, 5, 34, and 6, 64. So that become 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. This is called the sequence. And this is the nth term of this. Uh, we can say this This is called the nth term. Okay. This is called the that. That is called the nth term. That is called the nth term. In nth term, we can put the n equal to 1, n equal to 2, and so on. Then we can find. Right. The first n, first six term of fn equal to minus 3 key power n minus 1. So f1. We will put f equal to 1. So minus 3 key power 1 minus 1. Minus 3 key power 1 is minus 3 minus 1. That is equal to. Okay. So minus 3 key power minus 1. That is equal to 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So uh, the power of any term with 0 is 1. Then minus 3 ki ka whole square minus 1 is power remain minus 1 is 1. So minus 3. Then my, uh, 9, then minus 27, then 81, 9, 243. You are just substituting the numbers into the equation and get your terms. Write a rule of nth term. You can see here. Now, in the previous question, the function is given. You make the sequence. Now, sequence is given. Now, you want to make the function. Okay. So first, you will observe the rule. Observation is required here. You can see the pattern and again you can easily make it. 2 upon 5, 2 upon 25, 2 upon 125, 2 upon 625 and so on. 
then we will think about it how we can write it how we can make it you can see here 25 5 after 5 is 25 2 is common to all after 5 is 25 if the 25 be there then we can think about yes this is a power of 5 square 125 this is a power of 5 cube 6 25 this is a power of 5 key power 4 yes so we can see here one two upon five key power one two upon five key power two two upon five key power three two upon five key power four that means a n is equal to two upon five key power n okay so that means this is your a n that you can make easily after this So someone told me, I think that the network issue from your side may be because uh, I am very clear in my audio, so <laughs> we can't say anything. Yes, if you have any doubt, I, I, I have made the recording. I will send to you if required. Okay. So no need to worry. Uh, I can open your mics, but uh, please uh, mute yourself. If anything be required, then you can ask to me. But after the completion of that particular lecture. Yes, I will send this. If I will send this. Uh, yeah, I have already recorded this lecture. So no need to worry. Uh, that uh, the previous lecture have recorded. Anyone can tell me. You all are present in that uh, lecture. Okay, so Nandini give the uh, answer. Ki yes, this is recorded. Okay, okay, no issue. So that uh, I will send it. Uh, uh, if required, then uh, ad.fy, I will send to the ad.fy, then they, she will send. So now come to that uh, pattern. That uh, Now you can see the another pattern. 3579. We can't say about it. Now we can see here, observe the things. Mainly when we want to find the nth term, we will observe the things. Okay. 3. 3 we can write 2, 1 plus 1. Then 2, 2 plus 2. 2, 3 plus 2. 2, 4 plus 1. Now you can see there. Okay, the sequence is become a n equal to 2 n plus 1. Okay. So this is just a hit and trial. We can't say this. Okay, this is any particular uh, process or an, any particular methods be there. For making this nth term of the sequence. Just saw the question. Uh, think about it and find it. Now you can here see 2, 6, 12, 10, 20. So we can render 1 into 2, 2 into 3, 3 into 4, 4 into 5. Then an is equal to n, n plus 1. Why n, n plus 1? If n equal to 2 here, then 3 is 2 plus 1. If n equal to 3 here, so 4 is 3 plus 1. If n equal to 4 here, then 5 is 4 plus 1. So we can say that this is the general sequence a n is equal to n n plus 1. Describe the pattern, write the next term and uh, write a rule for the nth term in the sequence. There is no rule, but yes, we can write minus 1, minus 8, minus 27, minus 64 and so on. You can write is the term as minus 1 ka cube, minus 2 ka cube, minus 3 ka cube, minus 4 ka cube and next term because the power is in odd term. So definitely you, you know that if power is in odd term, then it is a negative and then power is in even term that is positive. So the A5 is minus 5 ka whole cube that is minus 125 and nth term is An is equal to 5 an is equal to your uh, minus n key power. We can uh, uh, remove this thing. An is equal to minus n ka q. So this is the pattern that you can see. Describe the pattern right and next term and the rule for the nth term of the sequence. 0, 2, 6, 12. 0 into 1, 1 into 2, 2 into 3. Uh, next, same thing. So the f5 is equal to 4 into 5. That is equal to 20. That means fn is equal to n minus 1 into n. You can see here the pattern in the previous question. You can see here in a, in a, in a previous question, you can see here a n is equal to n, n plus 1. In a similar way, you can see here in the next question n minus 1 n. Okay. So this is the point. 
now graphing a sequence think of a sequence is a ordered pair graphing is n and an that means term and actual term for example 3 6 9 12 and 15 would be ordered pair what is the mean of ordered pair that we can write two term in uh, is uh, put together so that is the ordered pair so 1 3 2 6 3 9 4 12 5 15 graph like the point in a scatter plot do not connect them we can sometime it help to find the rule of the first when we you are not given uh, every term in the final sequence so you can see here n equal to 1 2 3 4 and 3 6 9 so in this uh, graph 12 we can plot them and we can see the things now i am telling about some means uh, real life example you work in a grocery store and ask a static uh, apple in a shape of a square pyramid uh, with seven layers write a rule for the numbers of apple in each layer then the graph in a sequence so make a table showing in the number of fruits first uh, three layers uh, let an represent the number of the apples in a layer n so one is square then two is square then three is square okay then write a rule for the numbers of apple in each layer from the table you can see here an is equal to an square that means 1 1 2 4 3 9749 the graph is shown that so that you can see here this is in sequential way that means this is a layer so you can see here 1 Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so here the one means is a seventh layer. Last, it is the last. Is a one. Then this is a four. Then in this layer is nine. In this layer is sixteen. In this layer is twenty-five. In this layer is thirty-six, and in the last layer is forty-nine. So you can see here. Okay, yes, this is a graph, and uh, you can. i already told that if the chatting and another thing be there then i will definitely close it plot the points so, so you can see here the uh, i have already uh, plotted the things now what is a sequence a collection of object that is ordered so that there is a first second third and members what is the difference between finite and infinite finite means there is a last term infinite means the sequence continuous without stopping then what is the series how do you know the difference between series and sequence what is the sigma notation how you write a series with the summation number notation name three formulas of special series now come to the series series means the sum of the term in sequences that means if the sequences be there then how you will find the sum of that particular series in a normal you can sum up that easily you can sum up but if this is not normal series suppose in the previous question you see that n is square or minus 1 ki power in the n n minus 1 or n minus 1 into n then how you can sum up all these things so because you cannot uh, sum up all these things so that's why this is a requirement of the series after sequencing so the sum of the term in a sequence can be finite or infinite for example finite sequence again i i saw uh, i have given the previous example only 2 4 6 8 10 and infinite sequence 2 4 6 8 10 and so on finite series 2 4 6 8 10 but infinite series 2 4 6 8 10 so what is the summation notation the summation notation is called the sigma notation but normally sigma is denoted by like that this is a sigma also sometimes that so these sign is automatically read as the summation okay so the summation is a greek summation or the uh, sigma is a greek notation the meaning of that is sum so series of the sum can be write is summation is equal to 1 to 5 1 to 5 means all the element include 1 and 5 itself that means 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 
uh, i goes to 1 to 5 is called the index of the summation it's just like uh, the n used earlier sometimes you will see an n or k here instead of i the notation is read as i is equal to 1 to form from 2i so there is no need to worry if k be there if n be there so then you can easily see that then in the upper limit the upper limit of the summation is called the upper limit and the lower term is called the lower limit of the summation the summation of the infinite series so 1 to infinity is equal to 2i because the series is infinite you must use i 1 to infinity instead of the stopping at the fifth term like the before so then you can understand what is the difference between the series and what is the difference between the sequences sequences series will come after the sequences only so right here 4 8 12 plus 100 a series is uh, can be written in the form of this so that uh, how you can write here i is equal to 1 to 25 4i that means this is your finite series 1 by 2 2 by 3 3 by 4 4 by 5 and so on you can see here 1 upon 1 plus 1 2 upon 2 plus 1 3 upon 3 plus 1 4 upon 4 plus 1 and so on so the general term i is equal to 1 to infinity i upon i plus 1 in some time is it is also written as n upon n plus 1 uh, in the place of i here n equal to 1 to infinity that that is also the process that we can follow so i am uh, that i have to open the chat for uh, one minute if any doubt you can write here so i will move for this no need to give the extra um, that uh, extra potentials and extra thing be there only tell me yes this is a recording video but please no need to uh, and means uh, false and another gossip be there in this chat box so everything i think is all right do you understand the, what is the sequence how will you start the sequence then come to the series series is and some series is uh, required if you will study the sequence then only you can start the series so write the series using summation notation so you can see here the question 25 plus 50 plus 75 plus 250 now you can see here how you will think about it so as the series is 25 plus 50 plus 75 plus 250 can anybody give me the answer in chat box hello students can you give me the answer in chat box uh, that question yes this is the question so okay notice that the first term is 25 into 1 the second term is 25 into 2 plus third term 25 into 3 and the last term is 25 into 10 so the term of the series can be ai is equal to 25 i where i is equal to 1 to 10 that means the i is equal to 1 to 10 10 25 i so hello yes upper limit 10 very good so b o e b h i that i i want to this uh, the answer of those people who is from that bio and hi so yes this is the answer here someone asked me about the sang transformation that is a not part of your series and sequence of your bridge course you can ask me you can send me the separate question then i will tell you so now that uh, 
uh, that the summation of this is uh, so many students have give the right answer here then again this is a question that for i is equal to 1 to infinity so again in the previous one that is that stop up to one particular sequence but here this now this is the find the sum of the series k is goes up to 5 to 10 so 5 square plus 1 6 square plus 1 7 square plus 1 here the question is given in term of the sum then then you can see the lower is 5 that means k square so that is a 5k square if k is equal to means k or n or i is equal to 5 to 10 So the five square plus one six square plus one seven square plus one and so on, and you can see here the answer is three sixty one. This is a reverse question. In a previous one, I have to give in that normal question, but in this, this is a reverse question. So this is a find the sum of the series. You can see this question. Okay, the again reverse question. The summation is given, and you want to open it, and you want to sum all these things. so this is the sum of series k minus k is equal to 4 to 8 k tends to is given we can write here equal to also so that k is equal to 4 to 8 k plus k square so this is the sum then prime of sum k square 3 to 7 so solution we notice that the lower limit is 3 and the upper limit is 7 so k is equal to 3 to 7 k square minus 1 answer is 130 again special or shortcut formulas for the series uh, sometimes is needed okay, that i is equal to 1 to n c so that equal to c n then i is equal to 1 to n then i is equal to n upon n plus 1 in the summation of i square is n n plus 1 we can uh, upon 2 n plus 1 by 6 So the summation of n, summation of n square. You 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 have to see in those kind of things. So this is your particular things. Find the sum of the i square. So you know that n is equal to. You know the formula. N n plus one upon two two uh, n plus one. Okay. Then i square. Then they want to ask the i square where n is equal to up to ten. So what is the value of n here? Ten. Ten ten plus one two into ten plus one by six. That is three eighty five. Find the sum of the series i is equal to one to thirty four into one. So I already told this thing, this thing, this one. C n, okay. C is here thirty four and n is this. So you can see i is c is one here and n is thirty four. So one into thirty four. So this is your lower limit is one and the upper limit is thirty four. So the answer is thirty four. Find the sum of the series for n. You already, I already told this formula to for n. Summation of i is n n plus one by two. That is six six plus one by two. So six seven by two. That is equal to twenty one. So th these kind of things we can do. Here you can see we can write this formula. So we can find this. Otherwise you can directly n equal to one, n equal to two, n equal to three, n equal to four, n equal to five, n equal to six. Then you can sum up the all these things. Yes, this is easy for us. But when the number of terms be there, suppose we have the ninety nine terms. So this term be not valid. The, this formula is not valid because of that we can't solve this. If yes, the number of limited terms be there, then definitely we can solve. Yes, ten, twenty term up to we can solve. But number of terms be there, we can't solve. So what is the series? A series occur when the terms of the sequences are added. How do you know the difference between the series and sequences? The plus signs uh, give the differentiation because in a sequence there is a comma, in a series there is a summation. Uh, what is the next sigma notation? Sigma is equal to how do you write a series with summation notation? Use the sigma notation with a pattern rule. Name three formula of the special series. So, so summation of C up to I is equal to one to n is C n. Summation I that n equal to n n plus one by two. Then if I square be there, n n plus one, two n plus one by six. This is your generalization of the. Okay. So now I I I am uh, opening the mic to all of you. If you want to ask me, you can ask. that one one minute be there you can ask and if you want to ask anything otherwise i will move for the apgp and uh, 
HP. Uh, APGP is basically in your uh, is in this this course. So everything is all right. Okay, so then I hope everything is all right. Uh, then, okay. So then, now come to the arithmetic progression. So that I already told the series, you know, I already told the series for that particular. So in a arithmetic progression, yes, sequence be there. Definitely, when we will start the progression, that is a series, and that the series be there, then sequence we come first, then we will start. If various term of sequence are formed by adding a fixed number of uh, the, to the previous term, or the difference between two successive term is a fixed number, then it is called the sequ then sequence is called the AP. Two, four, six, eight. The sequence of even numbers of an example of AP. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. In this, each term is obtained by adding 5 to preceding that term expect, except the first term. So, for the example of AP, D is equal to 1 here. 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. If A is equal to 1 here, A here, first term, A means the first term, then A plus D the second term a plus 2d is third term a plus 3d is fourth term where d is equal to one here d means the difference the general form of the arithmetic progression is a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d up to n minus 1 into d a is the first term of the series and d is called the common difference why d is called the common difference because in from starting to last term there should be d is a common difference in between them, you can see in this for, um, question, the difference between 4 and 2 is 2. Difference between 6 and 4 is 2. Difference between 8 and 6 is 2. So the common difference is 2 here. In the next question, you can see the difference between 10 and 5 is 5. Then 15 and 10 is 5. Then 20 and 15 is 5. Then 25 and 20 is 5. So the, again, this is a common difference. Who want to solve the um, uh, better understanding of that uh, um, sequence and series? Yes, you can solve. Okay, so that, that is a point that I want to tell. This is a general term. Then common difference, the fixed number which is obtained by subtracting any term of the EP from the previous term. That means I already told this thing in a previous slide. Okay, the difference should be common in all of the term that, that, um, from that previous term. If we take first term of an EP as uh, uh, and the com common term is D, then the nth term of the AP is AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into T. Okay, so now 3, 7, 11, 15 and 9. You can see here the D is 4 and the first term is 3. Notice in this sequence that if we find the difference between any term then term before it always we get four that means four is called the common difference and is denoted by the letter d to get the next term in the sequence we would add four so a recursive formula at this a n is equal to a n minus one plus four the first term of the sequence would be which is sometimes just written as three the plus four plus four plus four plus four and so on each time you want to another term in the sequence, you added D. This would mean the second term was the first term plus D. The third term was the first term plus D plus D. That it added twice. The fourth term is a first term D plus D plus B. That was thrice. So you can see here, the nth term will be the first term plus D n minus 1 times. So A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. Try the fifth term of the series. A5. A5 is equal to first term is 3. You can see the formula. A n is equal to A plus n minus 1 into D. So 3 plus 5 minus 1, 4. 3 plus 16, 19. You can see okay, this 19 is the term, fifth term of the series. So this is the another part. Let's see. 
the example if a equal to 2 d is equal to 2 n equal to 12 no appropriate question who is the sarla previously you also asked the appropriate non appropriate question in this class again hostel counseling this is a bridge course class not the hostel counseling class If you don't want to study, you can leave. No issue. Find a n. A n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. 2 plus 12 minus 1 2. That is equal to a n is 24. Hence, we, we can say that the 8 12 is the, the 24 is the 12th term of the series. To check a given term in a p or not. 2 6 4 2 6 10 and 14 first term is a the next term is 6 uh, minus 2 4 4 4 since the common difference are common hence this is the ap find the value of co for which this series is ap that means ap is k minus 1 12 if the series is ap then the difference will be the d1 is equal to d2 so a d1 is a2 minus a2 minus a1 and d2 again d2 means a3 minus a2 so what is the value of k? k is the k is equal to 2k is equal to 12 plus 6, 18. k is equal to 9 here. The sum of the n term. So sum is equal to in the first term plus last term by 2. Hello. So sum is equal to Sn is equal to n into this. So this is at n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. What is the derivation here? So you can see here, this is a derivation. There is no, find the number of the terms in AP. A is equal to 100, An is equal to 500, D is equal to 5. So what is an? An is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. They want to ask the find the number of terms. That means n they want to find. So an is equal to 500 is equal to 100 plus n minus 1 into 5. So n is equal to 81 here. Now find the sum of 30 terms of the given AP. 12, 20, 28 and 36. Then uh, 12, 20, 28, 36. A is equal to 12. D is equal to 8. So Sn is equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into D. So that is equal to 3693. The sum of that term is 3693. This is the series is given 12, 20, 28, and 36. And that we want to find the sum of 30th term. Now you can see here, if we will sum all the terms in a normal way, then we cannot add them. So the formula is Sn equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And we can put the formula. You can find the sum. Find the sum of the term in a given AP 2, 4, 6, 8 up to 200. So what is n here? n is 200 here. Yes, this is a 200 here. So you can see here a and nth term is a, a plus n minus 1 into d. 200 plus this, n is equal to 100. Now sum of the arithmetic term, then s100 is equal to, we can put and find the answer. Difference between the two terms of an AP can be formulated as below. nth term minus kth term. So tn minus tk, a plus n minus 1 into d, a plus k minus 1 into d so a plus n d minus d minus a minus k d plus t so that is equal to f n minus f k n minus 1 into k so this is your uh, the terms of the uh, that uh, give we can say now come to the that uh, geometrical progression so the in the arithmetic progression you can see here that uh, okay so in the next class uh, I will tell that uh, geometrical progression, uh, uh, just a minute. Yes, we can finish here. 
geometrical progression or uh, geometrical uh, series is one of that each term found by multiplying the previous term and as you can see that in a arithmetic progression you can find the sum while in the arithmetic the geometrical progression you can find the multiple okay geometrical progression or geometrical series uh, is one or in which each term is found by multiplying the previous term by fixed number okay so 5 plus 10 plus 20 plus 40 so 2 minus 4 plus 8 minus 16 the first term is denoted by a and the common ratio by r and the series a a plus a r a r square a r cube and so on so what is the general term un is equal to a r to the power n minus 1 so then again we want to find the sum of that uh, general term So that uh, this is the first term of uh, n term. And in a, this sequence, we can find the common ratio. While in the arithmetic progression, we can find the common difference. Uh, while in this particular, we can find the common ratio. So R S n is equal to A R plus A R square A R Q plus A R Q power 4 and so on. R S n minus S n is equal to A R Q power n minus 1. So this is S n is equal to this. For this series of 2, 6, 18 and 54, find the tenth term of the and sum of eight term. First of all, we can see why R is 3 here. If you will divide 6 by 2, then 3, 18 by 6, then 3. 54 by 18 then 3 that means common ratio between all in the all term of the series is 3 here and that uh, a is equal to 2 here so a is equal to 2 r equal to 3 then un is equal to a r key power n minus 1 u10 is equal to 39366 similarly if we want to find the sum of the series a r key power n minus 1 upon minus one upon r minus one so you can find the answer yes yeah one one thing is uh, important point is here if we want to find the sum of infinite series then definitely we can find the a upon r minus one there's some different formula with there so here this is the formula for another point then r equal to zero to ten six two key power r so six twelve twenty four forty eight we have a is equal to six r equal to two n equal to eleven here sn is equal to again we want to find so this is so this is the, the in, a, in a geometrical series the third term is 36 and the sixth term is 1 to 1.5 for the series find the common ratio the first term and the twelfth term third term is 26 u3 is equal to 36 sixth term is 121.5 so u6 is this what is the r then a r square is 36 a r key power 5 is this if we will divide it so r cube is this if we will take the cube root of this r is equal to 1.5 so these kind of questions be there in this particular um, thing. So um, I will uh, ask to Dr. Shweta Mukherjee, the assistant in first year. She will send the notes to all of you. If uh, that uh, open, microphone, your microphone is now open. If you want to ask anything, you can ask to me regarding only the bridge course, nothing else. Yes, you can raise your hand. You can ask the question. I will share this. So no need to worry. Yes, student. Anyone? 